Hello everyone, Merry Christmas. Uh, this is going to be our last Advent story as we're ready on Christmas Day. So thank you all for everyone who has been taking part in our stories, all our readers, the storytellers. Also, thank you all to everyone who's been watching our videos as well. It is uh, just a real joy as we have been building up over uh, this Advent time uh, to recognize the stories that God shares with us in his word. This is the part of the one great story that God has for each one of us as we come uh, to hear him. And you can see that as the blocks have been revealed, we see that message uh, that we come this day to celebrate, Emmanuel, God with us. And we take the last block today, day 25, and there's three words on our block today, which say, go and tell. So today we're going to look at the best part of Christmas, the shepherd's story, which is our story also. Wouldn't it be nice if we could keep Christmas going all year long? What have I told you? There's one more Bible story that says we can do exactly that. It's the very first Christmas celebration ever. When Jesus was born, the first people to celebrate Christmas with him weren't the important wise men. It wasn't Simeon and Anna in the temple either. It wasn't his friend, John the Baptist. No, the first person to celebrate Christmas with Jesus were shepherds. Not who you would have picked, but that's God for you. He doesn't pick the people that we might think. And this is how it happened. A bunch of shepherds were out in the field. It was late. It was dark. Some of the shepherds were taking a nap while the rest made sure the sheep stayed put. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, a dazzling light appeared in the sky. The shepherds strained their eyes to look into the light and could just make out a figure. It looked a bit like a person, but it was far too bright to be any person they knew. Then the figure spoke, hello shepherds, and they realized it was far too loud to be any person that they knew too. And that is when it hit them. This is an angel. The shepherds had never seen an angel before. They were afraid. But the angel said, don't be afraid. I have good news. The old promises are coming true. God is sending the king to make the wrong things right and the dark things light. The shepherds were stunned, but the angel wasn't done. Suddenly, the dazzling light multiplied into two lights and into ten lights and then into a hundred lights. And before long, the entire sky was filled with light. There were more angels in the sky than stars, and they were all singing, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to all people. God is really coming, the angel said, and if you hurry, you can find him in a stable in Bethlehem. The shepherds weren't sure that they would, what they would find, but they knew they didn't want to miss it. So they ran all the way into town, searching in every stable they could find. Most of the stables were dark, filled with sleepy cows and donkeys. But one stable had a light. And as they walked, they saw a family, a mummy and a daddy and a tiny helpless baby. The baby came, Emmanuel, God with us. And what do you think the shepherds did? They sang the song that we have been singing all month. God couldn't remain. Sin drove him away. 
But now he has heard what we hoped and we prayed. God is coming to earth to stay. Then they rushed out of the stable into the town, waking people up and telling them, everyone, about the baby king. That's how it is when people see Jesus. Whether it's Christmas time or not, they go and tell others. They can't help telling everyone the story. The story of how much God loves his people and how far God goes to get his people back. The story of God coming to earth to stay. This is the story of Christmas. Christmas may be over soon, but the best part of Christmas lasts forever. Jesus is still with us. His spirit is in you and in me. God is with us. Even when it's hard, even when we feel alone, even when it's not Christmas, God is with us. And he will be forever. God couldn't remain, and sin drove him away. But now he has heard what we hoped and we prayed. God is coming to earth to stay. That is the great message of Christmas. Maybe today, or maybe you think of somebody in the future that you can go and tell this message to. Bye, boys and girls.